Good evening, friends. How are you all? I literally just got out of the shower. It is Friday night at like 10 p.m. and I had to shoot this video. I totally had to shoot it because I'm learning more and more as I discover and tap into and express my own creativity that when that moment of creativity strikes, it is choosing to come through us right then and right there. And it's important to pick up the pen, pick up the paper, pick up the computer, pick up the camera and let it come through. Uh, otherwise, it just might move on <laughs> and choose somebody else. So I had a moment. I just had this moment. I've had such a powerful shift in the last few days. For those of you don't, who don't know me, um, you're actually here at Erin Lanahan Method TV, and I am a spiritual life coach and an internationally certified yoga teacher. I teach mindfulness, meditation, and all kinds of healing modalities. Um, and what I'm really up to in the world is sharing my experience, strength, and hope with you, and also helping you to create the life and the love that you want in your business, in your partnerships, in your families, um, in your health, in your well-being. So oh, I had this moment when I was in the shower, and um, because I'm feeling so amazing, you know, I'm feeling so amazing, and that isn't always the case. You know, we all go through times where that isn't how we're feeling. And for me, one thing I really have set a powerful intention around is to experience causeless joy. And causeless joy is the feeling of joy, the feeling of happiness, fulfillment within us for no reason, right? And so as I really sat with that and just really let myself kind of bask in the gratitude for feeling this way, especially because, you know, that experience of like really shifting and moving from a heavier energy to a really light and expansive energy just feels so amazing. And the truth of the matter is, it's a result of practice. And as a coach, as a teacher, I work with people all the time, one-on-one, -on -one, in groups, and I see this happen where they begin to embark upon the path of transformation, right? They're, they're either, they're, they're just ultimately at the end of the day, whether it's their career they're working on, their business, their, their relationship, their family, their health, their weight uh, and body. At the end of the day, it's, they're, they're moving towards a goal. And in order to attain or to reach that goal, they have to go through a lot of discomfort. And as we move through the journey of transformation, we go through many dark nights of the soul. We go through many, you know, effort moments, effort days, effort weeks and months. We go through many moments of doubt. We, we go through many moments of temptation to throw in the towel and quit. And I'm here to encourage any of you and all of you who are working through these sorts of things in your relationship, in your business and creating, you know, that business that you love of your passion, um, you know, whether it's with your health and your fitness, your, your physical body and your, and your health and well-being, don't give up. Don't give up. There's so much power in showing up. And it's easy to show up when we feel good. Right? It's easy to feel inspired and it's easy to feel happy when we feel good. But the practice comes uh, from acknowledging that there's always something painful to look at. If we wanted to, there's always something hard to look at. There's always something challenging. There's always something um, unfortunate. You know, If we want to focus on that, we could find it. But there's also always something mysterious to focus on. There's always something magical to focus on. There's always something of appreciation, of gratitude. There's always um, something beautiful to focus on, right? But the challenge is becoming better at focusing on what's uh, good, what's working, celebrating those things, then we focus on what's not working and what feels hard. So my message to you tonight is to just keep going, to, to please, please don't underestimate the power of showing up. Showing up 
is all you have to do. And yoga, we talk about that. Like you just have to show up to your mat. And as you come to your mat, the act of surrender that is required and just showing up, just, just that alone is so extremely potent for your, your personal growth and moving through those walls that you've hit over and over again. So as you continue to show up, you just start to move through those walls and you start to bust through those paradigms and you start to create a new reality and you start to experience the energy and the vibration and the frequency of that reality. So please don't underestimate the power of just showing up, right? Causeless joy, uh, the kind of peace and happiness and fulfillment that comes from nothing. It comes from within. It's there regardless, right? It, it's not there because something good is happening or because you have achieved this thing or because you have X amount of money or because you just got to, you know, you and your partner are in love or you just met someone new. It's not, that isn't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is you can have a sick loved one. You can have uh, lots of unknown. You can have lots of things in your life that aren't exactly the way that you want them. And it doesn't matter. You're still able to feel that causeless joy and con continue to tap into the energy and the frequency and the vibration of what it is you're wanting and creating. And what starts to happen is you actually start to feel that like it's already here. Like you're just living in that, you know, you're embodying that. And then it showing up, actually showing up physically in your physical reality, that's just the next step, you know, and that just gets easy. But it does take practice and it does take time and it does take resilience and it does take willingness and you have to be ready. So are you ready? Are you ready to say yes to creating a new reality, to continue to show up even when things feel difficult? Are you are you up for the challenge? Are you, are you ready? Are you willing to have resilience to keep picking yourself back up, you know, to continue to nourish yourself and to remind yourself when you're having those dark moments or those heavy moments that this is just part of the process, right? And you don't have to understand and you don't have to know why this is happening and you don't have to even see, be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. All you have to do is just keep showing up. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. And I am sending you all so, 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 so much love. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. Please subscribe to my channel so we can do this more often. Thank you all so much for your love, for your energy, for your presence. It means so much for me. And I would love to hear your comments on this. I would love to hear your suggestions. I would love to hear what causeless joy would be like for you in your life. And if you have any questions, uh, post those here in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching Erin Lanahan Method TV. Have a wonderful weekend. Love you. Bye.